Aloha from Seashell Surf to you on this beautiful afternoon. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Don't forget to hit the like button and share the aloha with friends and family. Mahalo to all of you for choosing Seashell Surf Hawaii Adventures to Waikiki. Would you look at that? A G5. What's that doing here? I wonder who owns that? Zuckerberg, maybe? Bezos? Gates? Maybe it's the Kardashians. Yeah, wait a minute, what's this? A note from Ed McMahon. He's here to give me the million dollars of this G5. Come back. Come back! Oh, there goes the suitcase with a million dollars. And we're here at the Splash Lounge and Bar poolside of the Sheraton Princess Kaiulani Hotel. And we're going to have some refreshments. And welcome to Waikiki Wild Nights during the weekday. You're looking at a view of the Sheraton Princess Kaiulani Hotel Pool and Bar and Restaurant Area. And we're looking across over there at the Sheraton Moana Surfrider Hotel. That's right, kids. It's the oldest hotel in Waikiki. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Moana Surfrider opened its doors in 1901 and is in an American colonial style, as it's referred to. It has high tea at noon, which is a tradition that began and has continued to be held on the veranda every day. And you're looking at the West Tower of the Hyatt Waikiki. And just over on the other side of that wall is the Waikiki Police Department. Yes, it is. And you have found me here at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, the pink hotel that dots the Waikiki coastline beach.
quite pleasing to the eye. And here we are at the Sheridan Moana Surfrider Hotel. Let's take a peek inside. Now this was the first hotel in Waikiki. And over there, that's the Princess Kaiolani from Street View. And here we are at the magnificent Moana Surfrider. And it's a Christmas tree surprise. Yes, it is. Let's take a look at busy Waikiki during the holiday season. Right back and over to the Hyatt. Let's see what it looks like in here, shall we? And if you haven't watched from the first time we were here, we had tea in the tea room. It's a whole big deal. And this is what it looks like. Another banyan tree. The beautiful turquoise waters of the Pacific Ocean. As the palm trees sway in the wind. Say good morning to your mama. Okay, signing off. Pippa Jones thinks she's going for a ride. And we're now entering the International Marketplace. This was a hub for listening to old Hawaiian music back in the days of Don Ho and other well-known musicians in Hawaii, such as Martin Denny, Arthur Lyman, that would play exotic music with exotic bird calls in the back, in the background. And it was also a place where people could gather and especially under this big beautiful banyan tree this is the Aina Ho estate of Princess Kaiulani who was heir to the throne of the Kingdom of Hawaii prior to the overthrow in 1893 of the last Queen of Hawaii her aunt Queen Liliuokalani. These were foreign businessmen involved in the sugar industry here in Hawaii. Now here in Hawaii, one of our native hardwoods is the koa wood. And in the Duke Kahanamoku surf era, they were still using surfboards made out of that koa wood, which was very heavy. So it's a beautiful wood. We make ukulele out of them, furniture, it's beautiful. But let's talk a little bit more about the banyan tree. This is the oldest banyan tree in Hawaii, brought over by Archibald Cleghorn. Archibald Cleghorn was from Scotland. For a short time, he was governor here on Oahu. He was married to Princess Like Like, sister of the last king, David Kalakaua, and last queen of Hawaii, Liliuokalani. Kaiulani's home was here at Ainaho, and this is where her father, a horticulturist, planted the very first banyan tree in Hawaii. And here at the International Marketplace, as I mentioned, many of the famous local musicians performed here. Auntie Genoa Keave, known for her ability to hold notes for at least a minute 
if not two. And what a lovely, mellifluous voice she has. And then you had people that came out with exotic music, such as Martin Denny and Arthur Lyman, that included sounds of exotic birds that Arthur Lyman was famous for making. But of course, the most famous musician in Hawaii at that time was Mr. Don Ho. Don Ho is of Hawaiian, Chinese, and European ancestry. And he put Hawaiian music on the map with his songs, Tiny Bubbles and I'll Remember You. He had his own program on television, The Don Ho Show, and oftentimes he starred in shows such as The Brady Bunch when they came to Hawaii, and even I Dream of Jeannie when they took a magic carpet ride to Hawaii. Upon Don Ho's death in 2007, he was given a royal send-off at Waikiki Beach, fitting for the king of Hawaiian music. I want to thank you for joining me on this short but historic tour of Waikiki. And as we say in Hawaiian, ahui ho. Until we meet again, ma lama pono, take care, and aloha.